you can see all the ability, all ability is there. Um, he's doing an excellent job this year. He's done an excellent job last year. It's just one of those deals to where, you know, he's he, he was playing in Cleveland and, you know, they wasn't doing that well at that point in time and not getting that much publicity. But now, you know, they're coming around as a team and um, more media coverage and, um, you know, more and more people know about him. Uh, he, he's definitely a good player. Looking at Cleveland's offense, what stands out most about what they do well? Um, just just the guys they got around them, uh, the efficiency they're they're running their offense with. Um, North North Turner's doing an uh, excellent job with those guys, um, helping the uh, receivers out, helping the quarterbacks out, uh, getting the ball out. I mean, they've been sacked quite a bit, but. Um, they're getting the big plays when they needed to keep them in the game and make plays. So um, definitely got to keep them from making a big play. Kind of thin numbers on defense when, when you're missing <laughs> a lot of guys. Can it? Is it a challenge you guys rally around? I mean, you've been down this road before in 2010. Yeah, it, it's a challenge, but um, it's also an excitement to it because you know you got guys who who time it is to step in and. You know, most of those guys step in is hungry and ready to go. You know, they've been waiting for this opportunity. So, um, you know, I, I'm more excited for the guys who get who's getting opportunities at this point. And, um, you know, they, they usually come in and uh, showcase a, a good game. And hopefully, you know, they come in and do it for us this week and however long they have to do it. Mike Casey, his first opportunity to get out there, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. One, what would that mean to, to, to your group into this defense? And two, is he ready? Is he, you know, just chomping at the bit? Say that again, I it, didn't hear you. Having Casey Hayward back out there, mm-hmm. one, what would that do for you guys? And two, is he just, you know, you know, bouncing off the walls ready to get out there? Oh, it definitely uh, helps us out a lot. I mean, obviously, the depth that we have at this position, um, it helps that out, uh, plus the injuries that we have on defense. I mean, it, it, it helps that out, helps us out with that too. It may give us a little bit more flexibility to run some different packages. So, um, definitely looking forward to him coming back. How strange would it be if you're not able to dress 46 healthy bodies come Sunday? Ooh, that'll be tough, huh? <laughs> that'll be tough. But um, whoever's dressed, you know, we got to get a job done, um, and we got to uh, stick together as a team and help each other out, whatever it may be. Going against a guy like Brandon Whedon, who, who's turned the ball over this year, you guys haven't exactly gotten the number of turnovers you're looking for. With the thin numbers, is it just about creating different ways to get to the quarterback and provide that pressure because certain areas are thinner? Do you get more blitzes from the secondary? I think we've been all around with um, our blitzes all season long. I think we've been playing playing really good defense um, as a team. Um, eliminate a play here and there. And... Um, I think we have a couple of dominant uh, performances. So um, the turnovers and things will come. You know, that's one of those things to where um, you will 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 rather be playing um, better team defense like we're doing right now. Um, the the, the uh, interceptions, the fumbles, they'll come. And once they come, they usually come in bunches. So, you know, we don't have a problem with that right now. Last time you played North was that barn burner down in San Diego. Mm-hmm. They got 40, 135. Right, minutes. right. I, do you see a lot of um, what they did that play in his offense, or do you think he's just adapted to what talent he has? In the well, most of the time, when you get a um, you know a coordinator who's been in the league for quite a while, um, you know you kind of know what they what they do. Um, they kind of bring things with him wherever they go. But at the same time, um, he's definitely adapting to the league and uh, making adjustments to his scheme and um, concept that they're doing. So, um, Norv's always been a, a respectable guy around the league, so he'll definitely be a challenge. Does he sort of use that tight end they have a little bit like he used Gates in, in San Diego? They've got that pretty good pass catching tight end. Yeah, no doubt about it. Um, you know, um, Cameron is uh, their, their leading receiver right now. So, um, and when you watch him on, on film, you know, he's, he's pretty athletic. You know, you, you see him making the plays out there on the highlights, but um, once you get a chance to watch the film of him, um, he, he's really athletic. So um, he's definitely um, going to be someone to keep your eyes on.
another former basketball player for you guys that try to come back there. <laughs> yeah, we got a couple of basketball players in our secondary too, though. <laughs> uh, as far as Gordon, maybe not a household name, but a guy that uh, I think he, I don't think he played, I think he might have been suspended early in the year, I can't remember, but um, a guy that's physically talented and, mm-hmm. and can really make plays. Uh, just talk about him, what he does. Um, you know, um, it, it's funny because, um, you know, I kind of, caught an eye of him last year, you know, every time I looked up on the highlights, you know, he, he was catching touchdowns. I was like, oh, this, this guy, Josh Gordon, you know, he's uh, he's making plays for Cleveland over there, and, you know, same thing coming this year, you know, he's doing the same thing for his team. Um, you know, he's a, he's an excellent receiver, like you said. Um, big guy, um, has a lot of speed, and um, has a knack for making a big play for his team, so um, he's another guy who um, we'll have to keep our eyes on. I mean, you know, they got rid of Trent Richardson, but um, they're, they're a really good team.